Hello, I'm Carl with frugalberry.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your tuning pins on your piano. Now my experience is limited on this, um, to this piano. Uh, I've actually just replaced five pins on here. Done a lot of reading about it, um, but uh, take it for what it's worth. Uh, I was looking for uh, videos on YouTube and couldn't find anything. So I thought I'd put something together and hopefully this will help you out. So here uh, we go. I'm going to be working on this pin right here. Now you'll see there's a little bit of chalk on there. Um, I've been using chalk to mark uh, the pins that are bad. Uh, I've been tuning this piano myself. I actually got this off of Craigslist for $25. Um, so there's not a whole lot of uh, whole lot, not a whole lot of damage done if I mess things up. Um, but it seemed to be in pretty good condition uh, other than uh, some of the pins are kind of loose and I think eventually I'll probably end up replacing all of these pins uh, but right now I'm just hitting the ones that are bad so I've got my uh, tuning hammer here I think they call it a hammer even though it's actually a wrench uh, and I'm gonna put it on here and just loosen this pin up about a half a turn uh, maybe a little bit more than that and what I want to do is get these coils so that there's about two millimeters space underneath there. Um, you don't want to unwind it too much or you're going to end up with um, with the, the coils getting, well, let, me, let me just show you here, they kind of get a little, uh, little bent out of shape. Can you see that Michaela? Yeah. Okay, you can see that they're bent out of shape there. Okay, so I'm going to put this back. Um, and now I'm going to use a screwdriver and my needle nose pliers here to try and get this thing up. And you know what? I'm going to loosen it just a little bit more. Okay. And okay. So, oops. That uh, takes a little bit. A little bit of patience here sometimes. Okay. So I've done a total of five of these things now. This is my sixth one. I'm no expert by any stretch. Uh, I had a piano tuner tell me that um, when you do this, uh, if I did this, I would probably be uh, breaking strings. I haven't broken one yet, and I've actually uh, replayed, well, I've pulled some other pins out. I had to pull one out first in order to uh, to measure it. Um, okay, so now I've got the I've got the string off of here. Can you zoom zoom in here, Michaela? Uh, I kind of tried. There's not a lot of room. Okay, no, zoom not zoom, not with that way. Just with the I tried. with this here. Yeah, can't do it. Okay. All right. So you'll see there's still a good coil here and uh, this tab here on the end, I forget there's a there's a specific name for it, I forget exactly what it's called, um, but that's still in good shape. Um, so now you just move this out of the way um, and take your tuning hammer and loosen this guy up. <laughs> Knocking things all over the place here. Loosen this guy up, and eventually, it's just like it's just like uh, removing a screw. Eventually, it will be loose enough that you can just pull it out. <clears throat> All right, so there is my tuning so pin. Here is the tuning pin. And here is the new pin that I'm going to be replacing it with. Now you'll notice that the new pin is a quarter inch longer than the old pin. Uh, that's because this is the uh, this is a, a, a two slash zero pin, the original. This is a two a three slash zero pin, um, and I bought it locally at the local piano shop. Uh, and they didn't have the, the right length. So what I'm going to be doing is drilling it out, uh, drilling a hole out a little bit to make a little extra room.
for the <coughs> tuning pin. Um, and then, uh, uh, well, I'll just I'll just do it. And so now this drill, and drill bit here uh, is one that I just got from Lowe's. Uh, this is a 17 64ths inch drill bit. That's the diameter. Um, and I'm going to use this. It's it's actually a little bit undersized uh, for the pin that I'm going to be putting in, um, but it seems to be it, it's going to be working fine here uh, because I was actually for the other pins I was just using a uh, a quarter inch drill bit uh, and that was a little bit tight. So this one this one will be a little looser, uh, but it'll still be nice and tight for uh, for tuning purposes. So here we go. Uh, I'm just going to put this guy in here, and I've got my shop vac here, which I'm going to turn on uh, and just suck the dust as we go. Okay, and that's all there is to that. Um, you can even do it without the shop vac. It'll just put uh, put sawdust all over all over things. Uh, I prefer to be a little cleaner than that. And I'm sure if you have a piano that's that's worth anything, you'll probably want to do the same thing. So now I'm going to take the new pin, put it in the hole here, and just. Screw it in. Now I'm going to take this all the way in. Now there's there's a uh, a hole um, in this pin, which is where the where the strings can go back in. I'm going to take that hole almost right up to where it's supposed to be. Um, when we when we put the string back on, uh, we're only going to need to tighten it about a half a turn maybe a little bit more than that in order to uh, get the get the piano back in tune. So I'm just going to keep on going here um, and eyeball uh, the hole on the new pin with the, uh, the holes on the pins adjacent to it uh, and get it just about at the same spot and that's about where we are. You know what, I'm going to I'm going to back that off a half a turn here. And, well, let's see here. I may just take a look. Yeah, I'm going to back it off here. Okay. So, now this pin is nice and tight in here. I can feel as I'm as I'm uh, as I'm screwing it in and out that it's got a nice seat in there uh, compared to this one which was kind of loose. So, now I'm going to take this and just put this back over top here. Now, uh, can you see this part here down where my finger's pointing, Michaela? Give me a second. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this pin, this this string eventually is going to be going on the left side of this knob here. Um, but right now, uh, I'm just going to be getting this in place and using my needle nose to get the end part of that string back in the hole and let me press it down just a little bit okay so now we're back in the hole uh, I'm checking to make sure that all the windings of this string are uh, they're not overlapping they're nice nicely wound um, the way they were before you don't want your windings overlapping and now I'm going to take this part here and put it to the left of that knob. Um, and we're in good shape. So I'm going to tighten this up about a quarter of a turn, just, just enough to put a little tension on it. And I'm going to take my pliers and come on. And crimp that back in there a little bit more. I like to do this two or three times. Uh, just to make sure I have that string seated in there nicely. Okay. And now I can wait, start bringing this up to tension. Okay. 
So where's, where's our screw here? Uh, is that the one? Nope, that's not the one. There it is. Okay. So. You can hear as I'm bringing this up that at some point both of these strings, this 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 string here and this string here, are for the same note on this uh, on the lower end of the keyboard here. And I'm going to bring it a little bit past. Now you can hear a bit of a warble in the in the sound. And I'll get into this. I'm going to do another another video on uh, on tuning the piano. Uh, but you can hear that little warble. You want to bring it a little past, and then lower it down until that warble goes away. Okay, I went too far. tune as it's going to get for right now. Eventually I'll go through and, uh, and retune the whole piano. But at least that one note is where it's supposed to be. Alright, so that's how you replace a tuning pin on a piano. Um, Carl with frugalberry.com. Thanks for joining me. And uh, I will have more information on my blog, frugalberry.com. And just do a search under piano pins.